HP claims that HP Nimble Storage DHEI is for mixed workloads at scale. Is that just another piece of marketing jargon? And what does that even mean? And why do we even need this DHEI? Why can't we just use traditional HEI for all our workloads? Stay tuned and find out. Hi, it's Marcus here again. It's been a while since I last talked about hyperconvergence, but the fact remains, it is still one of my favorite data center technologies of all time, simply because hyperconvergence makes complex three-tier data center infrastructure elegant, simple, easy to use and easy to understand. And now, with this video, I will start a series of videos focusing on an alternative to traditional HEI, HPE Nimble Storage DHEI. Before I move on, I would like to thank Hewlett Packard Enterprise for sponsoring today's video. And just as a disclaimer, yes, HPE is sponsoring this video and they suggested the topic for me, but the words and opinions are all mine. I have total freedom to express my own views on the topic. That out of the way, let's get to it. So with this first video, I want to give you an introduction to HP Nimble Storage DHEI by comparing it to traditional hyperconverged solutions. I've actually made a video about traditional HEI some time ago, and it's still by far my most popular one. So make sure to check it out from here. And with the upcoming episodes, I will focus more on some of the most interesting Nimble Storage DHEI use cases. Looking at HP Hyperconvergence portfolio from helicopter perspective, there's actually quite a lot of options. ProLiant DX nodes with Nutanix pre-installed, vSAN ready nodes, HP ProLiant with StoreMagic, HP for Microsoft Azure Stack HEI, and then of course HP SimpliVity and HP Nimble Storage DHEI. HP even offers HEI as a service via HP GreenLake. It's good to see that HP is offering something for everybody. But let's be real, where HP really shines is the last two, HP SimpliVity and HP Nimble Storage DHEI. Those two solutions together can pretty much satisfy all HEI needs. Or like HP Marketing puts it, no VM is left behind. But let's focus on how DHEI, or Disaggregated HEI, compares to traditional HEI from an architecture and capability perspective. And when I say traditional HEI, I mean solutions that are based on all-in-one node architecture, like HP SimpliVity, Nutanix, Dell VxRail and vSAN solutions. While there are some substantial differences between the two, there's an important common principle that makes both different from all other enterprise IT architectures. Both make enterprise IT easier to use by combining traditionally separate components like compute and storage as one entity. Technical implementation differs, but the main goal is still the same. Traditional HEI is based on all-in-one integrated concept. You'll get compute, storage, networking and lifecycle management in one physical appliance or node, managed from one user interface. Some solutions go even further than that. For example, HP SimpliVity offers inbuilt data protection and global deduplication on top of that. And the environment is easily scalable by just adding one more of these all-in-one nodes. This super integrated and easy to use nature is the biggest selling point of traditional HEI and for a very good reason. As awesome as hyperconvergence is, there are some certain caveats to traditional HEI. First, performance. Traditional HEI's capabilities are restricted by server hardware and software that's not designed from ground up for ultra high storage performance. Critical environments need higher storage availability and top notch storage latency. Secondly, scalability. With traditional HEI, compute and storage scale more or less hand in hand. As mentioned, HEI comprises of all-in-one nodes, which are technically servers. And servers always come with CPUs, memory and storage. So when you need more capacity, you buy more of these nodes. But what if you just need more storage and no compute capacity? Now that's the thing, you can't buy a server without CPUs and memory. For most people, this will not be a problem. In fact, it's a desired feature. But if your compute and storage capacity needs are not aligned, and you need disproportionately a lot more storage, you are forced to buy compute capacity that you might never use, leading into inefficient use of resources. And lastly, resiliency. To achieve high availability with no single point of failure, which is imperative for business critical environments, most traditional HEI systems require four or even more nodes, even if you don't need the capacity. 
So as a summary, if you need peak storage performance, highest availability, independent compute and storage scalability and inbuilt high availability, you'll want to look at HP Nimble Storage DHEI. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. HP Nimble Storage DHEI is not a typical hyperconverged system because compute and storage technically is not hyperconverged. It comprises of a bunch of servers connected to a separate storage array. It is indeed a disaggregated HEI system, DHEI. I know, it's an oxymoron. If you ask me by my definition, it's not even an HEI solution. It's more like a sophisticated converged system. But I really don't care what HP wants to call it. The capabilities are what speak for themselves. So let's take a closer look. So HP says that Nimble Storage DHEI is for mixed workloads at scale. So what makes it more suitable for mixed workloads than traditional HEI? Well, first of all, what comes to generically running workloads, Nimble Storage DHEI can do pretty much everything traditional HEI does, run virtual machines on VMware. But what makes Nimble Storage DHEI apart from traditional HEI is, as mentioned, its disaggregated nature. Compute is separated from storage. Servers are HP Proliance and storage array is HP Nimble Storage. To be accurate, you can also choose HP Electra as for storage array these days. The product name will still stay HP Nimble Storage DHEI though. <laughs> you can add as many as 32 Proliance and max out Nimble Storage with a total of three additional disk shelves, providing hundreds of terabytes to petabytes of capacity, even with a small cluster. Because of this, HP Nimble Storage DHEI enjoys all the benefits of high-end HP Nimble Storage Array and hence all the mentioned performance and availability gains like sub-millisecond latency and six nines of availability. If you want to achieve similar availability with traditional HEI, you will need a lot of nodes, as many as nine, compared to four host servers and one storage array with DHEI. Also, virtual machine performance does not suffer from any storage operations. This is not the case with some other HEI solutions like vSAN-based systems where compute and storage use the same CPU and memory capacity installed on the server. This inevitably leads into performance limitations in high-stress situations. Additionally, even though many HP solutions including Proliance and SimpliVity support InfoSight these days, there are still differences. InfoSight was originally invented and brought to market by Nimble Storage it was developed solely for Nimble Storage arrays over 10 years ago. So still today, Nimble Storage enjoys the widest and broadest InfoSight advantages, providing Nimble Storage unmatched, straight to level 3 support experience and automatic problem solving. Additionally, with Nimble Storage DHEI, you'll get a VM recommendations engine to save you time with complex VM and VMware issues. DHEI also has tons of health checks and wellness dashboards that give you at-a-glance views into all your VMs and resources. This level of intelligence goes well beyond any traditional HEI solutions. If you want to know more about HP InfoSight, check out my What is HP InfoSight video from here. Last but not least, ESG conducted an economic validation in November 2021 together with HPE comparing HP Nimble Storage DHEI to traditional HEI solutions. And interestingly, they found out that Nimble Storage DHEI total cost of ownership is much lower. Due to, for example, lower acquisition costs, lower administration costs, and lowered licensing costs due to less server nodes. That is a pretty big cherry on a cake. And all this is why Nimble Storage DHEI is better suited for mixed workloads, environments where there are VMs that require large storage capacity but low IOPSs, mixed with VMs with small storage but high IOPS requirements. Cool, but it's just reliance with Nimble Storage, you might think. I can just buy them separately, install VMware and off I go. What's so special? You might ask. And that's fair. The magic is, like with so many other HEI solutions, the HEI software that treats the whole stack as one and makes lifecycle operations magnitudes easier. Remember, HEI is all about making your life easier and simpler. It's not necessarily about inventing something totally technically new to the world. Nimble Storage DHEI software makes separate server and storage tiers disappear to the user. So if you can use it like an appliance, from that point of view, it qualifies as a HEI to me. 
As mentioned, both traditional HEI and Nimble Storage DHEI have their own target audience and use cases, and they complement each other. But thinking just about running workloads, HP Nimble Storage DHEI is more versatile and capable. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more HP Nimble Storage DHEI videos in the very near future. And remember to subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of new videos. Thanks for watching, and until the next time.